Hi, this is Kevin from The Market Works. I'm going to show you how to take some of the portfolio data you've already put into a spreadsheet and start using it to build graphs. I'm going to do some examples using both Microsoft Excel, which is the most common spreadsheet program in the business world, and Google Sheets, which is the most common spreadsheet program used in the classroom. The first graph I'm going to show you how to do is how to make a line chart using Microsoft Excel. So to do this, I open up my spreadsheet showing my historical portfolio values. So the first thing I'm going to do is select my data here, go to insert at the top of the page, and insert a 2D line chart. A line chart is typically the best way to demonstrate data over time. But you can see here the automatic chart that it generated doesn't really give me very much useful information. So I want to change the way the data is shown. So I'm going to click select data. So you can see here the legend series is the different lines that are going to appear on the chart. I don't actually want date to be one of the lines that appears on the chart. The horizontal category axis is the stuff that appears down here at the bottom. I do want the dates to appear there. So instead of just going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I'm going to edit this and say that the date range is my A column. Click OK and it's updated my, my graph. Now this makes a lot more sense. You can see that my portfolio value has gone very clearly from these values across these dates. Very simple graph over time. Click OK and my graph is finished. Now one of the beauties of Excel is that you can easily expand or contract this graph and it will make it pretty easy for you to see where the data has gone. I can also copy this, open up Microsoft Word, and paste this data in and it's going to the graph will appear great, which works really well if I'm making a report or I need to make some sort of other document using my portfolio data. If I want to do the same thing in Google Sheets, first I open up my Google Sheet showing my daily historical portfolio values. I select the data that I want and again I'm going to go to insert chart. See, this one looks a little bit more clear to start with because it can tell my date automatically and my values go here. But this is using a scatter plot chart. I actually want this to be a line graph. So over here, where it has my chart editor, I'll change the chart type to a line graph. And now we're going to get basically the same thing we saw in Microsoft Excel. If we want to paste this into a Google Doc, it's also very easy to do. Again, take the chart, copy it, file new, document, and you can paste it in here directly. Now, it also asks if you want to link this to a spreadsheet or paste unlinked. If you link this to the spreadsheet, that means anytime you update the data in your Google Sheet, it will also update that chart automatically in your Google Doc. You can click paste and the chart will appear directly in your doc. The next type of chart I want to make is a pie chart showing the entire layout of my open positions. What are my current holdings? So to do this, first I took an export of my open positions page. If I want a pie chart, I don't really need all this data. So I'm going to delete the company name and all this other data. So the only things I have left are the symbol and the market value delayed. This is the actual what each of these items are worth in my portfolio. So again, I'm going to select this data. I'm going to insert a 2D pie chart. And this is a very easy way to get a pie chart showing how all of these stack up against each other in my portfolio. It's going to be almost as simple in Google Sheets. First, I want to get rid of these extra columns that I don't need. Delete column. Delete columns. Select this data insert chart by default this is going to show it as a pie as a bar chart but again here I'm going to change it to show me a, a pie chart I can expand these contract them to make it a little bit easier to see and again I can copy and paste this directly into any one of the e Google Get doc if I need to the next type of chart I want to do is going to be another line chart, but I actually want to show how my portfolio of values changed each day instead of just looking at the value itself. That means the first thing you do is actually calculate the percent change per day. 
The formula I'm going to use is parentheses today's value minus yesterday's value divided by yesterday's value. You can see here it's assuming that it's going to be the same type of data as a dollar sign, but I want to change it to percentage. So this first day, my portfolio value moves so little that there's actually registering a 0% change. If I drag this value down all the way for the entire set of data that I have, you can see for most days, the percent change is going to be fairly low. Now, if I want to make a line chart showing this change per day, I again, I'm going to select my data, insert, a line chart. Now, you can see this chart is completely useless to me because it has my series of data here, which is basically zero for the entire period, trying to compare against the value I have of the portfolio. So again, I'm going to select data. I don't want date and I don't want value as my legend series. And my horizontal axis, I still want to be my date. Press OK. And you can see my portfolio updates here. It's actually going to show me a pretty good chart showing how my portfolio values move day after day. But this is very hard to read. You see I have the date column is stuck all the way in the middle where middle is zero. So this is probably going to be the middle of where my graph should be. So in order to fix this, I'm going to right click my graph, format axis. To change where it appears, go to labels on the right side. And instead of next to axis, put low, that puts it at the very bottom of the sheet. Alternatively, you can put high to put it at the very top of the sheet, but generally speaking, it's going to look best if you have it low. Now you can see your, how your portfolio has been fluctuating for every single day of the challenge. You can see which periods of the challenge was very stable and which ones had a lot of movement. We can do the same thing in Google Sheets. First, we again need to get that same percent change column. Calculate the percent change by taking today's value, in a parentheses, today's value minus yesterday's value divided by yesterday's value. Format this as a percentage, and then drag this down to cover every day of the challenge. Now we're again going to select all of our data, go to insert, chart, and again this one doesn't really know what it's looking for either. So we're going to say it's going to be a line chart, and we're going to select our data here. The series is the date, and to remove this value one, just click remove next to value. Now it's showing percentage change and date. So just like Excel, remove the date here. And for the x-axis, I want this one to be my date. But OK. And here it is. It looks the exact same as it did on the Excel sheet. You can see that the spikes on this one are a little bit different because I use a little I use a completely different portfolio for this one's data series. But you can see it's still fluctuating around 0%, which is what I would expect. Some days my portfolio would go up, some days it would go down. And I can again take this cheat and copy and paste it in any Google Doc I wanted to use.